So we've uh, uh, spent two days with, with Ben and Katrina at their uh, new homestead. We've had a great time. Ben's got some nice, uh, nice equipment here. He's got his truck and he's got his old truck set up with a snow plow on it. They're going to need that. They've got a reasonably long driveway. Four wheel drive mule, trailer, snow plows, everything a homesteader needs. So we are at an at a undisclosed location in the beautiful mountains of the Pacific Northwest with uh, our new friends and their new homestead. This is the fourth home it took to get here, right? Yeah. How long have you guys been married? Uh, uh, 13 years in April. 13 years and, and the fourth home you've built and hopefully the last. Yes. Yeah. An off-grid homestead home. Yeah. The thing I wanted to share was your uh, wood cook stove. Would you guys show how this beautiful stove? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So winter's coming, and what four, you have four weeks to be in? Yep. Is yeah, the we're goal? Hoping, we're hoping about four weeks. And completely off grid. And insulation's going in today. And how's this for a mechanical room? And I'll bet your electrical panel doesn't look like this. <laughs> look at that. You know that is a work of art. Beautiful. Big insulated shop. Wow. I'm so excited for you guys. And this is this this is pretty much the star of the show right now, isn't it? Yes. This is the flame view. So this is a wood cook stove. Uh, wood cook stoves were the standard before electricity. And our great our grandparents probably had these. And this one is a modern take on it, and this is the flame view, right? Mm-hmm. And what you have is you have a, a full-on wood stove, like a regular full-size wood stove in the side, which, which will heat, what would you say, 2,000 square foot home? That's Yeah, I think that's what they said. 2,000 feet and right there. So this is the summer grate. So in the summertime, if you don't want to have a huge fire and really overheat the house when you're cooking, you can put a sp small fire on the top. And then... Uh, water foils in the two, right? Mm -hmm. you, there's you there's this, uh, this, this right here mounts in the top of the stove. Heat exchanger. So that heat exchanger right there will mount in the top so the fire will warm that so you guys will have unlimited hot water all the time with no electricity or gas or anything just from wood heat. Yeah. And then, so that, that is going into um, uh, these, these two lines here and um, the water heater is um, I'm having a propane water heater that in the summer we can use the propane and then the water heater is mounted a little bit higher than this whole thing so there's hopefully there'll be a nat uh, natural flow for the thermal siphon yeah convection so now you were you were the one that decided on this stove why did you choose this one because it made Ben happy and me <laughs> <laughs> large so you, you can see that the and they have a big family so it's important to have a big cook stove. Big family. Yes. And what's this box on the top here? This is the warming oven. And so what would you use that for? Well um, if we have a casserole that um, is done before like the bread or something go ahead and put that up there or um, butter that we want to start getting ready or drizzling on top of something, that would work well too. Or for even storing um, utensils that we don't want to be shown. Now the yeah. way this cooktop is designed, you have um, like really kind of three different heat zones on here, Is it, if I understand that correctly, right? Yes, the hottest that's right over the fire, and then it goes to medium, a little bit farther away from the firebox, and then to low. And then right here is a small water reservoir that is lined in copper and then this will go on the outside so when I'd like to um, make some coffee or tea I can just go ahead just right from here and um, get some hot fresh water or if you want to just use a ladle you can just take the ladle and use it too. So you have hot water all the time and also uh, there's an, another water container on the back. Yes, yeah, so a 20 gallon water yeah, and it helps keep humidity in the air. And then we'll also have a little thing here that we can just... Another spigot on both sides. Mm -hmm. So we're not having to take it from the sink 
to here. Right, so you just turn on the valve there and fill it. That is so clever. So does the, that water tank also fill that one, or that one you have to fill separately? This one will be by hand. Okay. Yeah, just from there. Okay. But the other thing, it's nice to have um, the other model, you can just have the stove and it stops it here, but you're getting um, five gallons of extra water right here and a little bit more of a surface for when, you know, you're, you've got a bowl of cookies or batter for pancakes. I really like that idea since it's a little bit farther, not too far, but our kitchen's over there and so I've got a little bit of extra working surface. Open this up, cookie sheets and lots of storage can go in there. And so you get a little extra storage as well. And then this whole guy comes out, and you can put all your cast iron, you know, things in there. So most everything that I'm going to need is right here. Beautiful. Room. That's One a beautiful stove. stove. Now, I would imagine there's probably a bit of a learning curve uh, to, to learn how to, to go from electric or gas to learn to cook on this. Yes. It's kind of an art, isn't it? They, they recommend to learn and master the top, your top uh, cooking surface. And then venture into the oven. So that takes a little bit, you know, it's kind of trial and error. You right. can't really read a book or um, something and learn it. You're going to need to do it on your own. So we're, we're looking really forward to that. And then put a nice light right above so we will have a good, you know, working, lit uh, working surface. How exciting. And, and so you guys are, you, you figure about four weeks you're, is your goal to, to be in? Yes. Because you're, you're in a trailer now while you're building, and you guys have built this all, all yourselves. Yeah, we're hoping to get out of that before it gets too cold. <laughs> so h how was it helping um, to screed this huge concrete slab, just the two of you? It was fun at first. <laughs> we're, we're, we're frenemies now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great with that intense heat. You said um, you chose the hottest day of the year to do yeah, the concrete, yes. right? Yeah, <laughs> Well, this is, this is just so beautiful. So this is a nice floor plan, your living area, and then you've got this hallway uh, for all the kids' bedrooms down here. And you said they all had to be the same size, so it was fair. No fighting. No. Yeah, they're, they're within equal. an inch or a half an inch of each other. So. <laughs> right. Can you get closer? Well, this is, this is wonderful. You guys should really be proud of yourselves for what you've accomplished, because this is, this is impressive. There's people twice your age that would dream being here. We're yeah. very, very blessed. And find the whole family, all four boys and have done it together. And yeah. it's been a good experience, and, and the boys have learned a lot, as we have. Yeah. <laughs> so we would like to come back when you get it done and, and, and see how you've done. But we will make some other skewers yeah. for you. And Cook. So let's step outside and, and look at this amazing view in this location, because it's extraordinary. Almost as good as ours. <laughs> Oh, yes, a little different, huh? <laughs> yeah, so in the forest, um, <laughs> up against the National Forest, I mean, what a paradise. And what a place to raise, raise the boys. Mm -hmm. And you have the upstairs to yourself. That's nice, too. Yes. Well, well done. We guys, we're so proud of you guys. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. Thanks so much. One thing that's just been such a blessing and just a reminder of how wonderful it is to live out in, in an environment like this for these boys is watching them play. No video games, no inside, outside creating and building and just, it just warms your heart. It's just, you know, when you know something and you see it and it's just right, this is just one of those things. And it makes me, makes my heart sad to leave. It's so nice to be home again. We got in uh, yesterday evening, and we had such a wonderful time. We, uh, for those of you don't that don't know, we went on a, a short road trip and, and spent some time with um, with friends, um, Timmy and Richie. Uh, they opened their home to us, and we really enjoyed their spending time and fellowshipping with them. And then we finished up with Ben and Katrina, and we got to see their uh, their wonderful new homestead that they're building. And what a blessing it was. Uh, we uh, felt so depleted from 
just from the, the well, I guess the toils of the channel and and so there's so uh, so many people in need and, and so much time spent to ministering to folks and speaking with people on the phone and answering in emails just uh, grind you down after a while and and we didn't really know why we wanted to do this tripper but but uh, we um, just felt that it was something we needed to do and on our way back we were just so uh, invigorated and, and so blessed and it was just it's just great to, to get your batteries recharged and to be around positive people that are going the same direction you are and, and have the same mindset that you do and it just helps you to refocus and, and um, I it, it was wonderful and I'm, I can't thank you enough uh, to the families that opened their homes to us and, and made us feel so welcome um, and loved so a lot to do winter is definitely coming and um, I'm looking forward to getting back into videos I apologize for the quality of the videos when I was on the road I know they weren't very good but uh, they had to be shot with my iPad and well it is what it is so hopefully uh, we can do better in the future so thank you for watching and we will see you guys on the next video mm -hmm.